Hey guys, I'm back. So, if you guys did not know, well, I haven't told you guys yet. Oh, sorry if my shirt looks wet. I just washed my hair. But if you guys did not know, I recently got my ears pierced. I actually pierced my ear myself, like at home, and it's been about two weeks. The the healing has like definitely like my ear has definitely healed, and I just need like you know a month is usually how long. Uh, a low piercing takes to heal so it's only been like two weeks there's been no infections no like swelling of irregular you know nothing irregular I've been cleaning it three times a day with solution um and I just I don't recommend you guys piercing your own ear um also guys a really tragic story my tragic piercing is gone now that'll be another story time video <laughs> All right, so you need a plastic bag full of ice. I'm gonna put ice in this, but you want a plastic bag full of ice. You want some rubbing alcohol, but this isn't rubbing alcohol, but it's the same thing, but you want some alcohol. One cotton swab and a racer. A cotton swab, about one or two cotton swabs. Something sharp to pierce your ear with. I'm just using a safety pin, honestly. Don't judge me. <laughs> But I did on this ear, so. And it looks pretty good. So you just need something sharp to pierce the ear with. You want to get you, like, a, a real earring. Like, um, not like fake or whatever, because you don't want your ear to get infected or get irritated by any nickel. So basically, if you're allergic to nickel, make sure you get an earring that is not nickel. You're going to take your alcohol and pour your alcohol into a cup or whatever. I'm just pouring it into the top since the top is sterile. Okay, so hopefully I don't spill any alcohol. All right, it's probably too much alcohol, but it will. All right, so you're gonna just take your alcohol about this much or so. You're gonna take your earring. You're gonna put your earring inside the alcohol uh, with clean hands. Make sure you have clean hands. And you're just gonna roll your earring inside of the alcohol just to clean the earring off, you know. And you also wanna take your stud as well. I just have a clear stud. I just feel like they're more safer when you get your ear just pierced. It's not as, you know, tough on the ear. You're just gonna roll that in the alcohol as well and just let it sit there for a bit just to clean it. You're gonna take some more alcohol. I took the earring out, guys, so that um, the earring is now drying on a paper towel. But you just want to take your sharp object and you want to put the needle in in some alcohol so that when you pierce the ear, it'll be nice and clean. But you're just going to take it and put the sharp object in the needle. I mean, put the needle or the sharp object. And um, we're going to clean the ear off with some alcohol. So you're just gonna take it, a cotton swab. So take your cotton swab and alcohol, and you wanna clean your ear that you're gonna pierce. So I'm just gonna clean it, sanitize it. The back and the front. I'm going to go, go ahead and mark the spot where I want my second ear piercing to be. Um, I have to try to align it up with this ear. I'm using ice to numb my ear and I'm just gonna put it on my ear for five minutes and when five minutes pass by that's when I'll pierce my ear Gonna push it. <clears throat> okay, and for five minutes, you just wanna for five minutes, you just wanna wiggle it around, just to make the hole a little bit bigger and looser, so that um when you put the earring through, it'll fit a little bit easier since the safety pin isn't as wide as the earring. Um. And you just want to keep this um, in your ear for like five minutes. It's been about five minutes now, 
and so we're just gonna pull this out and as quick as possible we're gonna put the earring in there because the hole tends to shrink really fast guys you just pierced a part of your skin so the so everything you know is trying to heal up as fast as it's possible you know skin is amazing it just rejuvenates itself this is the worst part of it all okay You gotta immediately put it in. It might pop, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oop, it popped. Oop, it popped. Sorry if that goes if that goes y'all out, but the earring is officially through the hole. And now we're just gonna put some alcohol around the earring just to clean it with um, a cotton swab, and then you're done. So this is what the piercing looks like. It looks really good. It doesn't hurt at all. Like I mean, it's a little bit of sting, especially when it starts to heal. It stings just a little bit, but um, that's the piercing. Looks really good. Yeah, you just want to make, I just would prefer you guys not to lay on your ear at all. Clean it three times a day with solution of any kind, like ear solution that you get from Claire's maybe, or alcohol or water and salt solution. I know they say don't, don't use alcohol, but that's what my family has been doing for ages and nothing has happened to their ears. So. But other than that, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I know a lot of people are going to be saying, oh, that's dangerous and stuff like that. And honestly, it's my ear, so I kind of can do whatever I want. Talk to you guys later. Bye.